Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We're off location. I realize the lighting's not very good here. I've made uh, two videos, I think, um, in the last couple days with this lighting, and I apologize we're off location, but that doesn't mean we can't do a quick beer review. This is the Hop Flying Fish Hop Fish IPA. So um, basically what this is, um, it's a uh, Hop Fish IPA out of the Flying Fish Brewing Company. We've actually done several beers um, uh, in the last two or three years from these guys, and they're hard for us to get on the East Coast, um, at least where I'm at on the East Coast. I don't know why, um, but I don't see them very often. They're out of New Jersey, which is also on the East Coast, but I'm a little south. So anyway, um, I heard about this from a friend, and he said, this is one of those ones you need to review. So I got a, I literally got one bottle. That's all I could find. Um, so it says directly from Flying Fish here, it says, at the request of the Hophead, who produced an IPA with a deep gold color, plenty of hot bitterness, balanced sweet malt, sweet maltness, extensively dry hop. There's a floral and citrus hop finish. Um, features combination of American, German, and English malts. Uh, hot fish uses three different hot varieties at five different times. Um, this is impressive. That have been dry hopped for two weeks with 22 pounds of nugget hops. That's a lot. Um, ABVs are 6.5, available year round, and it pairs very nice with spicy foods, pizza, and subs. So I have never had this before. It rates fairly well, actually. Um, this is their traditional cap. I don't know if you can see it's red with like a fishbone kind of skeleton on there, which I think is pretty cool. Um, pretty cool label, um, that, you know, kind of that that archaic kind of uh, arts and crafts look. So, IBUs are only 25, so it's not extremely hoppy. Um, wow. Smells very... Uh, Caramely, maybe orangey, tangerine. A lot more malty than what I would have anticipated, but I've used only 25. You can't expect a hop explosion. But for an IPA, without even trying it yet, I would say it's not as IPA ish as I would anticipate. More pale ale ish um, with the aroma. There's almost zero carbonation coming off the bottom. It's very well filtered. It's a very thin, white, frothy, foamy head. Some people call it that kind of malt biscuity smell. Not very exciting on the aroma side, so let's let's try it out. Mmm. Very sweet has a little bit of a bite to it. Mm. Mm. It's not hitting on much, to be honest with you. Um, this is kind of disappointing. I thought this was going to be better. It just kind of has a... It can kind of smell a malty, yeasty kind of aroma to it, and that's what you taste, I think, more so than anything else. And then you get hit with this kind of toffee caramel flavor. I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't buy this again. I mean, I, hate, I can't stand when I do beer reviews like this because I get all excited. And maybe it has a little bit to do with the expectations, but it just, I mean, they're, they're talking about this floral, citrus balance with cop bitterness, complex malts, English style IP. I mean, that's like the most generic description of a beer. And it's, it's balanced, but it's got this, this kind of, weird concoction of flavors that nothing really kind of stands. I'd rather it be more florally or more citrusy or more caramely or sweeter than trying to get all in one little conglomeration because it just doesn't come off as a good mixture, at least for my palate. I mean, it's okay. I mean, the, the, the head is pretty thin. There's almost zero kind of carbonation for the kind of fizz bounce. I don't know, I just, ah, um, I would not buy this again. So I'm not disappointed, I guess, that I haven't had it very much. Um, I'm going to give my beer connoisseur friend a hard time because I definitely would not 
buy a six pack of this. It's just not that exciting, and I think they're trying to mix too many flavors at once without anything being pronounced enough to give it a characteristic of its own. And this would get lost in the crowd of IPAs faster than anything else. I mean, it just doesn't stand out. So I don't want to bore you anymore. Um, I hate doing beer reviews like this where it's just not good, but I wouldn't buy it again. And that stinks. But that's my opinion, so leave comments on your YouTube channel or website if you tried it before. Um, I'm hard on the IPA class, my favorite class, but there's some out there that are just phenomenal in my opinion. This is not one of them. On a range scale between one and five, honestly, I would probably give this about a one and a half. Um, it's not worthless. I could slug it down, um, but I, I actually prefer not to, and it's just not something I would buy again. So let us know if you tried it. You can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. We upload all the time. We appreciate you watching. As always, again, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.